HGC Dexter. HGC is just the initials, I believe, of the mapper, which is Hans. This is a map based on Dexter the TV series. Which I inf oh, what do we have here? We got a little bit of a script. Tonight's the night. It's gonna happen. It has to. These creatures have invaded my sanctum. They fit Harry's code. Tonight's the night I kill them all. Cool. Yeah, I know nothing at all about Dexter the TV show, so you'll have to be the one to determine uh, how appropriate it is, how well it fits that theme. All I can tell you is how I feel about it as a Doom level. So let's get moving. We have 121 kills, 33 items, 2 secrets, and an armor and a shotgun that I missed. Credits, huh? Get okay, credits for killing them, so that's fun. Nice little outside area with a uh, nice dark sky. Some nice shrubbery. In most cases, I think it's best if you have a floor change to change the height of the floor as well, because this you wouldn't really find this in real life with grass and a rocky path at the exact same flush level like this. Sometimes you can get away with it more than other times. I think this is an example where you clearly the rock should be a little bit lower. It might look nicer. Here too, this might look nicer if this is raised up like one or two units and that's it. But this one looks a little better than, than that. Looks like I get five credits per kill. Or maybe just per imp kill. Trash bags here, that's cool. Um, yeah, so I know nothing about Dexter once again, but perhaps these are Dexter characters or something, I don't know. Big portraits on the walls. Now this is a little bit more bland. This room here is all brown. Pretty rectangular. Pretty sure we had perfectly symmetric enemy placement in this room, which is not really ideal. Actually, this room itself is perfectly symmetric. That, that's not so much a problem, but when the monsters are also placed symmetrically, that's just a little, a little odd. It kind of strikes you as, boom, you're playing a video game. Alright, we got the door here. That one doesn't open. Door here. Bang machine. Couch, a little break room or something. No. Okay, so that probably opened the door over there. Over there! Hmm, mega sphere, huh? Is that a trap, or is there something brutal coming up? Yeah, another pretty boring-looking room. There again, I'm not. Entirely sure what's up with those pictures. Hey. Hundred credits. Wait, that was a revenant. Twenty-one kills. Should I have hundred five credits? Hmm. I guess not. Oh well. So yeah, I guess they're all worth five, except for something. Alright, let's, uh, you know what, let's save here. And, uh... And in case I can't get that Megasphere, or just in case I die. Okay. So now we're in the city part. This is supposed to be a big city map.
super shotgun. Okay. Wait, I didn't use the credits, I just... Wait, now I bought another one? I need 400 for plasma rifle. 175. Oh, I bought a chain gun. Okay. Alright. Interesting. That's a, actually a really cool concept. Um, man, I need 400 for that. Wait, do I get more credits if I kill him with a different gun? Muscles are worth more. Huh, they must be. It's nice to know for sure when you've killed a monster. <laughs> you get credits. Oh boy. Got a lot of bullets. Sure, I got a lot of shells too. Rocket launch now. Or should I wait till plasma? Okay, here's what I need to do. Let's get some more health. Oh, yeah, elemental lost souls don't count. I'm getting that mega sphere. Yeah, totally interesting concept. I like that. Go ahead and save it again here. Souls. All right, I am getting a rocket launcher. Uh, nope, I'm getting a plasma gun. Yeah. Well, that one was real. Enough guys, get the rocket launcher. 
Uh, yeah, it makes every encounter more interesting. At least up until this point. After this, I'm gonna have all the weapons, so... Assuming I can't buy a BFG somewhere. Uh, you know, normally killing three barons with that much room to work with, you're just like, eh. But, oh, uh, come on. By that time, it was like, oh, that's 75 credits, so, sure, thank you very much. Okay. This is a picture of, of, uh, Supposed to have jump on? Wow. I think I'm supposed to jump out of here. I don't jump. Uh, so that's a big oversight that I didn't see that. That I need to jump. I'm gonna play the rest of this map assuming that jump is enabled and even required. Yeah, the look of the outside part of the map is pretty cool. The nice city, buildings all over. It was a nice fight as well out here. You know, you come out here and you got humans, you've got cack demons, you got uh, Lost Souls and Pain Elementals. Oh, I see. I gotta go in there. Um, there it is. Alright, give me that rocket launcher, baby. That's right. I don't actually know how much rocket launcher was. What did I have? anymore. I guess if I get all the weapons. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, this is... I'm actually working on a, a city map myself as we speak. Not as we speak, obviously, but... Uh, and I see a lot of similar elements going on, so it's kind of interesting. I've got like a tunnel thing like this, only it doesn't actually go anywhere, it's like the boundary of the map. And this one obviously does go somewhere. So yeah, the, the map looks a lot better outside than it did, than it does inside anywhere, basically. Uh, especially that opening area, there's a lot of a lot of brown in those areas, not a lot of, uh, not a lot of detailing. Now granted, the city part is rather, um, rectangular. 
but I think it's got enough variety and detailing that it gets away with it. Okay, so yeah, I just jump up here, you know? Yeah, I, yeah, that's kind of a bummer. supposed to jump now. <laughs> Kinda cool though. Right, I got a ridiculous amount of plasma and only 30 enemies left so plasma it is the rest of the way. There's another one right over there, I can see his hand. Yeah, I really like to look at this map. Ammo. My goodness. What do I even do? with the train cars or whatever these are. Um, way too much plasma. Unless the last four enemies are all like double health cyber demons or something. Uh, oh, I have, all, I have all the keys. Okay, where was the switch? Here. Is this the exit? No, I can't the exit. Open this. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh, okay. <laughs> There's just one there, Actually, four enemies left. Maybe there are four cyber demons. Oh, 
Well, I'll take one at a time. Interesting. So first things first, I really like the concept of using credits to get your weapons to build up your uh, your arsenal there towards the beginning. Pretty cool. Um, you know, makes all of that combat worthwhile, interesting. You know, especially if you think you're gonna skip all the imps at the beginning, then you realize, oh, I left like 100 points behind. Let's go back and kill those so I can get a chain gun or something. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm just a sucker, I think, for city maps. They're just... I really like them. Um, so I, I, I really enjoyed this. I think I enjoyed this more than it is objectively good, if that makes sense. Uh, because the beginning part was kind of under-detailed. The city itself was <laughs> a little bit under-detailed. Now, it had used all the really nice custom textures and everything, so that certainly added to the the visual beauty, but uh, it was pretty pretty grid-like with square buildings and, and square parallelogram, or uh, yeah, parallel and perpendicular roads everywhere with right angles. Uh, now the tunnel part was really cool, I liked that a lot with the fire in there. Um, but uh, yeah, and the gameplay was, uh, it was, it was solid, you know, it was Towards the beginning especially, uh, once I got the pl plasma gun, there was just way too much plasma and rockets, um, so that it was, you know, you didn't have to worry about ammo, like, at all. So that made the la pretty much everything beyond the tunnel and made all of that pretty, pretty simple, just to be able to spam rockets and plasma. Um, but still, some interesting, uh, combat and encounters. Um, I would have maybe appreciated if the map had been a little bit longer after the tunnel, because it was basically, boom, three keys, flip the switch, kill the Cyrene, and done. Um, if there would have been a little bit more exploration of the city back there or something like that, but overall, uh, nice map. Now, I can't tell you anything about Dexter or how well it embodied that TV show, because I don't know anything about it. But as a Doom map, it works for me. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty fun map there. So, that is uh, Dexter by Hans.